I was flying getting some bangers and that this happened. I clashed my DJI Vara straight into the water. I will tell you how not to crash yours. Earlier that day I was totally fearless, flying inches above the water to get these shots. So I finished filming at this one beautiful location. I saw this bridge built out of stone. As I was going down to the water, I saw some power cables appeal all of a sudden. And I pulled my Avara up to avoid the cable and this happened. From my experience, this drone is built for slow cinematic flight. It's perfect for flying in tight spots or hitting small gaps. The VAR has such a huge battery, so when you're flying about 25 meters per second, if you make a quick turn, it's gonna crash. This is not a freestyle drone. This is more of a cinematic drone, so fly like that. If you fly this drone in very windy conditions like mountains close to the ocean, maybe a lot of wind, you run the high risk of crashing the drone. If that is the case, then rather fly the DJI FPV. This is the main difference between these two drones. Fly the Vara slowly and cinematically and you'll be all fine. These are my rates if you wanna do that. And now to break down my previous video of which shot with shot with which drone. Let's begin. So the first shot here are shot with the FPV with the Hero 8. Because the speeds the buggies are driven on is actually higher than the DJ Vara can go. He's probably doing 120, 130 in the buggies, which is like quite crazy. Igor is a crazy guy. So this shot with the Avara, I must say, looks really beautiful. This is the Hero 8. And this is back to Avara again. This is the Hero 8 with lots of nice color gradient. Looks quite cinematic. This bridge is uh, so huge and so beautiful. This is the Hero 8 also. First time we met. This is the DJ Avara. This colors here look so beautiful. It was such a beautiful day. Highly recommend you check out the city. It's called Pochtel in, in Bosnia, Herzegovina. This shot was also in Davara, which is a bit darker colors. This is Hero 8. This is also Hero 8, but it could be the Javara. Looks would look the same. This is the Hero 8. This is Davara. That was the, basically the same place. This is the Hero 8. This is the Mount Maglic, the highest in Bosnia Herzegovina. This is Davara. This is the Hero 8. And this is the Hero 8. So. So the difference between the GoPro Hero 8 and the Vara is actually quite small. It's shocking how small this drone is and how great the footage looks. But yeah, by the way, DJI has also updated the Vara, so it helps you if you flip over. It kind of stabilizes. Either way, be careful in high winds. 